Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mike with Sunrise Auto Glass here with a video on some maintenance on the little buddy. Um, after a while, these plungers are gonna have to be replaced. They just kind of lose their effectiveness. Um, you can buy a replacement kit online. It comes with two replacement plungers. Um, you get this little roller to clean out the inside and then it comes with some lube as well to help slide it through. Um, to make sure you don't have to replace that, you can also buy some other smaller parts. Um, this valve can be replaced. Those two screws in there as well, if they start to get kind of worn or if you strip them out, tightening them, that'll mess up with your seal there. I probably need a little bit because this is getting a little loose, so I'll probably get those two screws next. But for now, I had an extra plunger sitting around, so um, we'll do a quick maintenance on this little buddy, get it fresh and new and ready for the week. Okay, so step one in getting this plunger replaced is you need to get the old one out. So what I do is grab your little panel tool, pig's foot, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to get between that little crevice right there and kind of pry it out. If you see on the new one, it's got that little ridge, so you don't want to go on the outside. There's actually a little piece right there that you'll pry out. So this is a great tool to use on it. So like I said, get between the base and that and kind of pry that loose go around a little bit once you wiggle that out you just kind of pull it out so um, we'll be back once we get this thing out so we got that little plunger started i'm just gonna force it out and if you can save the old one just in case you find yourself in an emergency so try to be a little delicate Popping that thing out. So you'll know right away if you've I've damaged these plungers before. You'll know right away. Oops. If you've uh if you've broken it or if it just needs service. So every once in a while, these little plastic lens all globbed up. Let's see if we can clean that off real quick. Yes, you see mine's pretty old. Um, sometimes this plastic down here at the bottom, if you hit it really hard, don't ever use like your palm to bash up on the plunger in. Always use your thumb and push it slowly. Um, double check the seal. Don't, don't be in a rush and bashing it. Cause I've gotten, you know, gotten in a rush and I've hit it like that. You can actually break the little plastic pieces down here. Um, and you'll know right away, you'll hear that crunch. These little pieces in here will crumble up and then you're really screwed. So like I said, this one doesn't seem to have any damage to it at all. There's no broken plastic around it. It's kind of old, so I might even service this one and save it. Just a bunch of old, old lubricant on there. So we'll clean this one up maybe. I'll probably just throw it back in. Like I said, it doesn't look like it has any damage to it, so we should be good to go. We'll save that other one for a rainy day. All right, so the first part about cleaning it, like I said, they give you this roller here. So you want to put that in, clean out all that dust and debris in there, um, all the old lubricant. Make sure you don't have any any gunk down there because it'll really hinder trying to get that new one in. It'll really mess with your seal on it as well so you think you might have a bad valve but you just got a bunch of junk in here so clean that out a few times slide a bunch of this in there really glob it up they send you a bunch use all of it um a bunch is gonna squirt out you gotta clean it up anyway but you're gonna coat the inside you're gonna coat your plunger i saw they had to clean off that old one um Coat both of those, use all the lubricant you can, slide it in there, and then we'll check it, make sure it holds for uh, a good while. I'm just gonna use a little microfiber towel. Clean this one off. It's still working okay. I think we'll need to fix it, um, but we'll give it a good scrub. Get all that old junk out. Oh. No, just a little snag on the plaque. I thought I heard for a second there. Broken piece of plastic, but just a little snag. 
So this part up here is really what you want to make sure is in good shape. After you check the plastic, make sure that's not damaged. Make sure none of this rubber or this little seal up here, really clean that up because that's going to really help you with the, uh, with the holding of the valve. Oh, dog sneeze. So yeah, use a microfiber towel, something clean. Um, I wouldn't suggest using a paper towel or anything like that. Just so you'll get that little debris popping off. Use a microfiber towel if you got one laying around. So we got this cleaned up. Except like we're gonna coat it inside and outside, and we'll be good to go. All right, so we've got the inside lubed up. We've got our new plunger all lubed up, especially around the the valve out here and the plastic as well um, but just make sure you got plenty up here we've got a bunch in there as well I did save a little bit in this cup just in case you find yourself in a pinch and you do have to get a replacement at least you got enough in there at least kind of get a new one in so you can get a replacement kit um, little buddy does a great job with fast shipping like I said you do get two plungers and a repair kit um, so it does help you out like I said, they do like two-day shipping, so if you find yourself in a pinch, you can get it to you pretty quick. Um, so now that we've got this all coated up, we're going to go ahead, slide it back in there. Get that one in nice and smooth. Sometimes I struggle with it where I think, oh, I don't need to use all that, and then it gets halfway in and bogs down. Oh, my God. Now i got to try to rip this thing out without breaking it. Cause I thought I could save a second, so clean on the outside, and then we'll run outside and we'll test this and make sure it's holding okay again. Clean off the cup as well. Make sure you keep your cups in good maintenance. Um, but the the plunger, the valve, and your cup. It's really what you want to uh, make sure you keep in good shape. So we'll run out to the Tacoma, throw that on there, see how long we can get it to hold. All right, we're going to throw a little buddy up on the window here. When you first use it, you're going to work all that old, all that lubricant out of there. So push it in, push it out. And you'll see eventually it'll kind of get to normal there. So now you don't have that red popping out. So before I did that, as soon as I was done pressing it, it would pop like halfway out. The red line was basically, oh. What do we have there? Maybe we do need a new seal. Just gonna be dressed like a schmuck. <laughs> Not really dressed to impress right now, sorry. But yeah, hey, look at that. Looks like it's okay. Holding pretty good. Doesn't look like it's popping now. Like I said, it could just be that new lubricant holding that plunger in, but it also looks like it's holding pretty tight. You know, you can feel, if you wanna know, you can feel in the center of the cup, it'll be really tight to the windshield. You'll feel that tight suction on there. Um, when you're starting to run out, that's the first spot that pops up from the cup. So it might be tight around here, but if it's loose and sucks in the middle here, it's eventually gonna reach that outside and pop off. So you feel it really tight there, which it is. We're good to go. We're still waiting, waiting for that red line to pop out. Say we're good to go. 
Yeah. Yep. And there we are. So we don't need to replace the valve. Probably do it eventually, because like I said, those little screws, I tighten them every once in a while. They're kind of stripped now, but it's hard to get that super flush on there, but I think we'll be good to go on the little buddy. I'll check back for some more videos, yeah?